What's up guys? This is Flo, where the conversation is always about music. And in this video, I'll be reviewing Manon Craft's latest drop, Space 2. Space 2 is an extended play and it's a sequel to an album that dropped last year, 2021. And in this video, I'm going to be going in depth to how really good this album is. Because it's one of the listens that I was able to sit through in recent times. So guys, stay tuned, like, support me, and subscribe if you like the content. Let's go. So Marlon Craft, Marlon Craft, Marlon Craft. Marlon Craft gives me Mac Miller vibes. I'm not saying he's exactly like Mac Miller or he's the reincarnation of Mac Miller. As I, know, I don't try to like keep artists in their box, but I'm just trying to say those are the vibes that he gives me. Like he's in line with what Mac Miller does. And this uh, this album or EP is started with six songs. It starts off with I Still Don't Cry, a song that explores the vulnerability complex of men. That's yes, I, I've seen the video like of this song, and it's very very weird to me as a man because it's weird like seeing other men cry, but I'm not shaming them. And I don't think they were even crying like based on what they maybe they were paid to act or. I'm still saying like the vulnerability complex of men is just the fact that you can't like be vulnerable openly. You have to be vulnerable to yourself and you have to be vulnerable as a man to your woman. It has to be in a sensible way. You can cry like on your own but compose yourself and come out so that people that's just the vulnerability complex. Yes, we are vulnerable, but we can't do it outside because we get taken advantage of. So other songs in the album, Young Man, Middle Crap. They are like soft, they follow suit and they are really really nice songs. The only song that was underwhelming to me was the last song, Human Front. It was an underwhelming piece to me and it's not about listening off to fatigue. There, there are only six songs on this album. That was just the last song that stood out. That wasn't all that for me. Yeah, this album is definitely worth the listen for you like if you want to have that intuitive feel it's not really a club song it's not bangers it's for minds like people with minds people with healthy minds that want to think do you want to think yes so listen to this album and throughout the album it was only seven over ten performance for me even the human from that didn't like was still insightful so it was only seven over ten for me and it popped out like it went above that occasionally on two different songs that's dear life and i still don't cry and those are my favorite songs like between the two of them i'm not sure which one is which which one is my favorite song but it's definitely between both of them it popped out so i could easily give this a 7.5 rating over them as an art piece like as a form of art or as art basically and I'm not comparing it to other people like in the same rating because it's very distinct, it's in its own lane and it's producing like quality like vibe. This is not some Dracalo stuff, this is not commercial stuff, this is stuff for people to cultivate in their minds, taking.